Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay and today is the tier, spring tier tray collab that is. I am hosting along with Joy Fuller from Joyful Designs. I am so thrilled that she agreed to do this collab with me. Um, what I got here is one of those boxes from Dollar Tree, two little dowel rods, two little wooden flower pots from Dollar Tree, uh, one popsicle stick, and then I have some of those decals you get for every season at Dollar Tree along with these paints. And what I'm gonna do first is paint everything white. I was so thrilled when Joy said that she would do this collab with me. She is an amazing crafter. And throughout this video, I'll be posting a few of her gorgeous projects that she has created just so you can see and enjoy them as much as I do. And I want you to go over to her channel and let her know that I appreciate her. And I said, hello, please subscribe to her channel and say hi to her for me. Um, I really love her designs and that's why I want to post a few throughout my video. So here I have painted everything white and now I'm just going to start piecing everything together. I'm just using hot glue to do that. No need for wood glue because this isn't going to be, you know, moved around a lot or anything. I'm just adding the dowel rods um, halfway in between. And guys, I didn't even realize that these rods were two different sizes, but it still worked out, you know, because I'm going to cut the ends of my this um popsicle stick off because it's just going to be like a sign on top of it i wanted to make this little stand because this stand reminded me of a stand that we would pass when we would go um, to the campground in upstate New York when I was younger and there was always this stand on the side of the road there will be no one there but there they would have corn for sale and that was the best corn ever and we would always look forward to it and stop there and there was just a box and you would put your don donation inside of the box and take as much of the corn as you want and now here we are it's all completed and I am going to now paint my flower pots and I wanted those to look like a terracotta pot so I mixed this um, orange paint along with some brown to tone it down and that's what's gonna make it have that um, more of that dry terracotta look yeah I'm excited to see what projects Joy is gonna be doing for this collab because she always comes up with such awesome things and that's always such an excitement to me to see wow how did they come up with that and I didn't think I, I didn't think I don't think like that so it's just always such a pleasure to collab with someone else because I just love seeing what others like to do so go over to her channel like I said it's linked in my description box let her know that I sent you say hi and please subscribe So now here is that little watering can that you get, those little decals you get from Dollar Tree. I painted it with this blue and um, it's just going to be a part, a part of the sign that's over the little flower stand. Then I got an idea to make it look more realistic to put the holes on the spout, but I'm going to end up covering that up with hot glue anyway and you aren't going to even be able to see those. So. I didn't even need to do that but <laughs> so these wires I have are gonna mimic water coming out of the little spouts um, and then I got this grand idea to curl the ends which I almost ruined it I shouldn't have done that I should have just left it straight and then I just straightened it back out and then I'm just gonna hot glue those on the end of the watering can so to con when I glue it onto the sign it's gonna look like water is pouring out of the sign
So I had a little idea about this collab. You know, this time it's the spring tier tray collab. Maybe I'll do it for all four seasons, like spring, summer, fall, winter. And then maybe next time we can have other people join us. <laughs> you know, when we do it, I don't know. This is just a thought. If you'd like to do that, if that's something you'd like to do, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on my email or on Instagram and let me know that that'll be great and you'd like to be a part. So here I am just going to add some, I glued, you can see I glued that little watering can on top and it actually looks like the water is pouring out of the little spout. And then I'm just using some brown paint to give it that, um, you know, just add some farmhouse flair to it. I'm just using the brown paint to do that and I'm just going to do that on all four sides and then I'll move on to my next step. So guys, you see this stuff? This is some spray adhesive I've got from, I saw in Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I've never used it. Have any of you used it? So I read on there and it said to spray it on your, on your, the product that you're trying to, you know, glue together and then spray some. I was reading it again because I didn't read it good enough before I started. And then you have to spray it on the object that you're sticking um, something to. So both of them have to be sprayed and then you hold it on there and um, just for a second until it holds. So I'm gonna do that on one of these little flowers that I painted and then the other one I'm just gonna add my trusty old hot glue that has never failed me. And the only drawback is that it doesn't, the spray does not hold instantly. So it moved around a little bit and I had to be careful. So, but other than that, after it dries, it, it's perfect. Here are some more of Joy's designs. This is something that she created for Easter, this lovely cross, and this was one of her Christmas designs. Look how beautiful that is. Go let her know that you love this. <laughs> So this next project, I'm gonna make just like a shelf sitter sign um, for my tiered tray. I got this this piece of wood. I have like six of these. They were inside of a package from Hobby Lobby, and they're just little thin pieces of wood. But I'm gonna paint these white with my chalk paint by Waverly, and then I'm gonna move on to the next step. So next, um, what I'm trying to make here is a little umbrella. And you see that, I'm sure all of us have seen this, um, some, this daisy burlap at the Dollar Tree. At one point, they had quite a few of these. Well, what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be the top of my umbrella, so I'm just gonna cut out kind of a half circle type um, shape here for my umbrella top. And then um, I'm gonna also make a handle out of some jute rope. But I thought this was such a pretty um, piece of burlap. It's like very um, spring. It's just so, I just love it. I love the white against the burlap and the yellow. It's really, really pretty. So I, I didn't like the shape of that one. So I decided to cut out another one. And I'm just trying to see where can I get the most bang for my buck with the flowers. Because I want the flowers to really show. You know what I mean? But I love this burlap. It's really, really pretty. So I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, the new and the ones that have been with me since the beginning. I appreciate your support so, so, so very much. And this is what it looks like after I glued it onto my sign. And then I just have this little piece of jute rope. I'm going to cut it down and then I'm going to hot glue it so that it um, can be the handle for my little umbrella. You guys, it's been so nice crafting in this smaller space since we moved. 
it's just been so much easier because I'm more organized and I only take out the supplies that I need for a particular video that I'm trying to create or for a particular craft that I'm trying to do. And it keeps my craft space cleaner and it keeps my mind cleaner also. I'm less scrambled in my brain <laughs> now that everything is more together. So next I have this little piece of lace and we get this from Dollar Tree this lace ribbon I'm sure we all have seen it or we all have some if we do crafts and what I'm gonna do this is just gonna be the bottom of my umbrella I am just going to ruche it up a little bit um, along the bottom of the umbrella with a little hot glue just to make it look a little bit more decorative and spring like Guys, this might be TMI, but I am actually sitting in my bathroom doing this voiceover today. My three daughters are out there in the living room, and boy, were they loud. I, I, I was like, guys, I need to do my voiceover. They're like, mom, just go do it in your bathroom. So here I am in the bathroom. <laughs> So this little project is nearly done. I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. So next I have one of these little wood butterfly cutouts. I'm not sure if these are at Dollar Tree all the time, but for a while I was seeing them pretty frequently. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and I like to go around and like make designs with my hot glue gun. I'm, I, I like doing that. I like that, um, that craft when you can do that and then paint it and it gives your um, object that you're painting some dimension. So I'm just going around and I'm just gonna make some designs on the wings and little things like that. And then when it dries, I'm gonna paint it. And this is just gonna be like a little shelf sitter on my tear tray. So I'm just gonna use some white paint and I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. I think that when you are working with wood and then you use white paint first as the base, it helps any other color that you put on top of it to stand out more. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm gonna put the white down, I'm gonna let that dry or dry it with the heat gun, and then I'm gonna go on and add more color um, to it after that. So these are my paint colors that I've been using, the purple, lavender, um, the, the hot pink, but mixing it with a little white and the yellow. Um, those are the colors I've basically been using for um, this project, and I'm also going to use it here. And I'm just going to add some color to, to the parts that are raised um, with by the glue, and then I'm going to go and paint the entire thing, and then I'm just going to keep adding layers until it looks um, the way that I want it to look. I hope I don't bore you with all this painting, but <laughs> I, I did a lot of painting in this video, guys. <laughs> So next I'm gonna take one of these little wood blocks. I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add some wood stain to it, some antique wax. I mean, just adding a little bit of that. And this is what I'm gonna glue that cute little butterfly to, to have it sitting on my tiered tray. I probably should have um, painted it on there and then wiped it off with a wet paper towel. I did it backwards, <laughs> so oh well. So next, here's another one of these wood, um, wood boards that I got from Hobby Lobby. I painted it white 
And on this one, I added May flowers. And on the other one, you're going to see it says April showers, the one with the balloon, the umbrella. But you'll see that um, at the end of the video. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gently drawing with my pencil the outline of a flower. And then I'm going to take some of that caulking um, that you get from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to, going to put that on um, this sign. And then I'm going to let it harden. And then I'm gonna paint it and it, it's gonna give my picture just like a raised look. I like this technique and I'm gonna do this on a larger scale because I wanna do a very nice picture for my living room. But, so stay tuned for that, it's gonna be great. I, I gotta get me a large canvas and then I'm gonna try my hand at that and it's gonna be really pretty. But what I did was after I squirted it on there, I just took my paintbrush and I just brushed it down a little bit to spread it, but not really spread it all over, just to give it like streaks so it can almost look like flower petals. And after you paint it, it really gives your painting some texture and dimension and everything like that. So that's what I'm doing here. Just gonna go all the way around until I get the leaves and everything um, covered. And this um, caulking was drying pretty fast. I don't know if it was because mine is old or if this is how it really dries. Does it dry this fast? And it was kind of stiff. I had to heat my the container up with a heat gun um, at first to get it moving because I have had this one for quite a while. I probably should buy some fresh ones and see if I get a better result um, when I do my larger picture. So this is what it looks like now and it's nearly dried but I'm just gonna fill in all the little spaces with the leaves and then it's it's soft enough still where I can like make indentions in it and impressions in it with my paintbrush and that's what I'm doing here but I wanted the middle to be filled so I could paint the middle um, like a flower uh, has a, a center that's what I'm doing here and I'm just adding I spread it out and then I'm just gonna add little holes in it kind of you know indentions in it with my paintbrush and then I'm gonna go on and start painting So here I am, I'm just using the lavender, the hot pink, a little white. Um, I'm gonna use um, yellow and gold with a little bit of the brown for the center. And then for the leaves, I'm gonna use a little green, gold, and white. And I'm just gonna go on and get this little picture painted. Mixing the colors as I go, because you can see how it's all blending. Um, I think that looks really pretty on this flower. And guys, I for the back for it to stand up, I just took a clothespin apart and I just um, glued it to the back and um, made a little like a little kickstand um, for the back of it. And that's how I got it to stand up. I, I learned that um, from Craft Away with May. She does that technique um, sometimes.
All right, I'm jumping all over the place here. I don't know why I didn't do the butterfly clip and finish out the butterfly before, but <laughs> here I am. So what I decided to do after I got my butterfly all painted, I added some of these little flowers and now I'm gonna glue it to the block. And there we have this little cute shelf sitter butterfly. <laughs> Super cute. All right, so next I got this house. These houses, I think I got them from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They were in the clearance section, 80% off. I think I paid like 24 cents or something for these. And these little flowers with the fence, that was at Dollar Tree, and I'm sure all of us have seen those. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little white base down on these flowers because later I'm gonna add color. And I also did that with the house. I added a white base down. And now I'm gonna take this lovely paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and some more of that burlap with the daisies on it. And I'm going to just use my Mod Podge to adhere it. The burlap is gonna be the roof and then the paper is gonna be the bottom of the house. And then I'm gonna just have the flowers over on the side. So I'm using a little um, of the Mod Podge that you get from Dollar Tree to add this to um, my house and to the, um, to the roof. My Mod Podge was a little dried out too. <laughs> it looks like everything I got is dried out. I need to get some more stuff, I guess. But just adding a little Mod Podge, not overdoing it, then taking um, the burlap and pressing it down slightly and making sure all the corners are down and then adding a little bit more Mod Podge on top. And then I'm gonna dry it and then trim it down. Just trying to figure out the best way to add this little paper down to get the prettiest flowers to stay on the, the house. But I think either way you do it, it all looks the same, so. <laughs> So now I'm going to paint the flowers. I, the fence, I used a little antique wax on the fence. And now I'm just going to use the same colors that I've been using all along to paint the flowers.
Take care, my friends, and remember these two things. Always be kind and always be the sunshine.